thank you mail for that um, introduction so straight away i'm coming on to the situation of uh, uh, the kashmiri women in the conflict zone uh, as we all know kashmiri society is a patriarchal one where women were uh, treated secondary to men uh, they were considered weak and inferior to men in all walks of life they were in the, they were denied their uh, uh, mobility access to education right to take decision regarding their own matter uh, legal right to inheritance etc so they were just denied uh, a dignified life in fact they were not seen as they were existed as, as it is uh, but during the post independence period the because of the policies of national conference government they tried to emancipate and empower kashmiri women now during this time mobility education and empowerment of uh, uh, movement got geared up many pro women policies and programs were initiated by the government and uh, the government uh, promoted women education and employment with the agenda of creating a nationalist citizen who can participate in development and progress of the region and uh, uh, and its people so they just wanted uh, to create a naya kashmir and a uh, and a new kashmiri women Uh, but this progress that was initially made during uh, 60s 70s got destroyed with the emergence of armed militancy and militarization uh, this armed struggle that emerged during 1989 for the self determination and the heavy militarization had made the life of kashmiris miserable particularly women and children uh, the continuous conflict the violence the trauma had deeply scared the society For past three decades, Kashmir is prone to gross human rights violation. That includes rape, molestation, and forced disappearment, displacement, and counter deaths, and a lot many more. Conflicts have destroyed safe environment and a sense of security provided by family. The legacy of conflicts had adversely affected education, employment, and other issues. Women has always been in the receiving end due to this conflict. they have lost their loved one father brother husband and son some of them they were killed and some of them were forced to disappear by the state this forced disappearance has created a new category in kashmir called half widows and half orphans who had to shoulder the economic burden of the and running the family now these these women were always kept under suspicion and constantly they were surveilled by the patriarchal society they regarded that when women had to go out for uh, for the daily bread they were looked down upon as a bad women so uh, uh, so they uh, so this was the situation that they have to face in a patriarchal society and so both the patriarchal society and the state both infected uh, um, uh, it caused a serious wound in the minds of kashmiri women particularly this half widowed the socio economic problem posed due to the killing and forced disappearance of their loved ones and the legal battle to know their about their whereabouts had caused the psychological problem problem among women the victims of the conflict suffer from depression anxiety stress and other psychological disorders now this covid 19 pandemic has and the clampdown has again aggravated the situation uh but in fact all uh, uh, all these situation all these negativity amidst all these problem they are uh, try to fight it back uh there is very little if uh, effort to know about the impact of violence that had happened after after the uh, uh, taking away of uh, article 370 and the extension of this clamp down due to the lockdown so amongst all these uh, negativity and challenges women in kashmir have been kept away i mean uh, they were expressing themselves uh, uh, their political disagreement with the nation they had also disagreements with the patriarchal society and uh, uh, this uh, uh, conflict had actually strengthened them internally strengthened them they come out to the street they um, they just express uh, express their uh, uh, disagreements with the state and this um, uh, we can say there is the changing role of women uh, where they become a, a breadwinner and not uh, depending on men so with that i'm just um, ending there and